the 18th school year. Um, I want to take this slow because I want to be precise and make sure I give you ac the most accurate information. In 2015, the state legislature passed a law, House Bill 1842. That law passed in 2015 said, in effect, that any campus in the state that has been an improvement required status for five or more years at August 15th, 2018, the statute requires that for any campuses at IR status for five or more years in August of 2018, there are only two possible actions that the state is required to take. One is to close the campus. The other is to install a board of managers for the district. Now let me take a step back and just define one term. I, described, I mentioned that if a campus is in improvement required status for five or more years, what that means is that the state has identified a threshold. If this is all 8,600 campuses in the state, that threshold was set at around the 5% mark. Uh, it's not a percentage anymore, it's a flat number. But essentially any campus whose test scores are below that threshold is considered to be an improvement required campus or an IR campus. A campus that has been below this threshold, the bottom 5% of campuses essentially, a campus that has been below this threshold for two years is considered IR2. For three years, IR3. For four years, IR4. The statute says any campus that has been in IR status for five or more years, IR5 and beyond, at August of next year, that the only two options that are available to the state agency are either to order the closure of the campus or order a installation of a board of managers. TEA has right now, and there's the responsibility TEA has going forward. Right now, TEA has the same responsibility to Worthing that it has to any campuses in the state that are struggling. It's our job to try to provide support and try to provide guidance and uh, assistance wherever we can. Um, at large, what that's meant for Houston ISD is that we've made certain, uh, the, the HISD has requested uh, lenient uh, in certain areas and we've granted that. Uh, we provide funding for technical support. Uh, we've provided training for the school board and ongoing support for the school board and the administration uh, in their planning processes for these schools. That is the same level of support that TEA would offer any campus in any district that's requested it. And uh, I, for one, have enjoyed the partnership with Dr. Lathan and her staff, Dr. Johnson and others.